Hello David. Hello Phil. Well, we met back in 2002 at the TT. In the island, yes indeed. Yeah, where we, you know, you started coming on the scene and um, and obviously we're here today in, in, in sunny Oswestry. Indeed. Uh, bringing your dad's uh, 125 MV. Oh. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> but you obviously had a race retro this weekend. Yes. Um, obviously you, you, you're going on tour. Talk to me about this this Mike Hillwood tour you're doing. Obviously we were involved with you last year with it and uh, very impressed. I mean, you know, what you're doing for your dad, um, you know, nine times world champion. Yeah. Well, you know, one of the greatest riders ever to be on the planet, um, <laughs> you know. It's 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 absolute brilliant. Yeah, it's a it's a you know it's a pleasure and a, you know and an honour, a to be his son, but b to have the opportunity to do what I now do. Yes. Um, having done it now for a, for a few years, uh, it still amazes me every show. You meet new people, and it, I say it still amazes me that so many people still show so much affection and appreciation yeah. for what I do and bringing the the bikes and the memorabilia and everything out and. Um, I so said we've been working on a documentary and we're doing another one now and possible murmurings of a new motion picture so um, it's nice to know that what I've been doing over the last few years is, is paying off and uh, keeping dad's name in the public eye but um, not only to promote dad's sort of legacy but my son is also called Mike Halewood Absolutely. and uh, should he ever decide to take up racing uh, he'll have the right name and uh, hopefully I'll have my foot in the door there for him so fingers crossed. I mean you know we've been in this, the, the, the classic world for a long while now mm. and I mean every event we're at you're at and uh, you know you're very professional what you do um, you know keeping the Mike Aylwood name. And I mean obviously you're doing this this tour around the UK and uh, Europe and Isle of Man and Ireland and I mean, you've got some terrific clothing. Where can the public buy this clothing from, David? Uh, well, um, sort of from last year, I started doing a few uh, T-shirts and things like that, pretty much just to test the water, and discovered that there was still a lot more of a demand out there than I ever realised. Uh, from all the events that I went to, uh, people were buying stuff all over the place and asking me for things which at the time didn't exist. So um, uh, after scratching my head for a little while, we decided that <coughs> it'd been a while since we bought out any new machines um, or anything new for that matter so I thought well as far as machines go he raced for everybody so it's if we can't get everyone involved and so far we've had pretty good response for that so we've got a new bike coming out this year um, in March and I thought well if you're gonna have a new bike you really need some nice new kit to go with that don't you you do. So, um, uh, beavering away in the Isle of Man, uh, I, I met a very nice chap and we got together and started to produce the new Mike Halewood range. Wow. So, um, it's, uh, it's been quite a process. Uh, we've been going through all, through all sorts of designs, colours, logos, layouts and things like that and uh, I think we're just about there now. So, we've got about a month before the bike is released. So we're just starting to bring all the new clothing out now and uh, I have a few retailers around the country that will help us out with that so aside from being able to go to www.mikethebike.com uh, to get your merchandise you'll be able to uh, also find it at places like Paget's, uh, at uh, Kickstart Motorcycles, uh, at uh, of course your Phil Morris the, the museum uh, as well, we'll be able to uh, work that out there and um, we've got a few guys in Spain, I think I've got one guy in the States lining up and the hardest one that has been so far is to try and work something out in Australia um, but I am still working on that one so okay. fingers crossed it should be available pretty much worldwide okay. and um, so but it didn't really sort of stop there so we sort of carried on and the snowball kept on rolling so as well as motorcycles and clothes and phone cases and posters and stickers <laughs> all sorts of things um, we should have some new helmets coming out as well pretty soon so you should be able to have a, a, a good full range because obviously people out there are still in awe of Mike Aylwood um, and obviously in awe of you as being Mike's son mm. 
um, and you know at the events we're at. I mean, you know, I'm very good at, at picking up on on it, it's 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 really it's hard stretching to be honest. Yeah, it is. Um, but it's for me. I mean, it's a little strange because it's something I've sort of grown up with. So it's sort of day to day life, really. But um, a lot of people do sort of marvel at how I managed to keep myself composed talking about dad and uh, and the history on on such a regular basis. But uh, as I say, I mean, it, it's it's like anything. You you well, you get into the swing of it, and you sort of absolutely. And what will your dad say? He would say, "For the love of the sport." Exactly. For the love of the sport, Indeed. Uh, and um, you know, it, it's fantastic. May it continue, David. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, can, can we just talk about the bike, or is it is that is that hush hush at the moment? It's or? still a little hush. I can give you a little info. We're looking at a three cylinder, okay, an eight hundred cc. Okay. The name has got an M and a V in its title. Right. <laughs> Would it be red? It might be. Okay. It might be sort of red and silver, actually. Right, okay. Well, we won't say any more <laughs> what bike it is until it's released, David. But obviously, I wish you well with the tour. Thank you. This year, and uh, thanks for hiring your dad's uh, MV125 1957-58 bike. This was the first bike that your dad rode. Indeed. Um, at Open Park. Yeah. Um, uh, with uh, your great-granddad, Stan. And um, he rode it, he had some success with this, with 57-58. He did indeed, and yeah. just, his career just went boom. It's, uh, yeah. I have to admit though, this, this, as beautiful as she is, she still scares me. Just a fairing. Well, that's... It just seems so much weight on the front. Uh, I certainly wouldn't go jumping over Bath Bridge on it. Yeah, well... <laughs> It'd take a bit of a nose Obviously, your dad... Um, in back end of 57, mm. he had this fairing made, mm. and then at uh, the first two rounds of 58, the ACU banned it. That's right. Because of the crosswinds, because it was unstable. Mm. It made the bike really unstable, and there were some horrific crashes um, of that season of people <laughs> yes. with the dustbin fairings. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's special in in Oswald Street Road Racing Museum, and uh, you know for you to. Um, come and uh, want it for your tour, it's uh, fantastic. Well it's been an honour and a pleasure to bring her out and to let people um, admire her and uh, I've had such a great reaction this weekend about her, uh, but people are looking at it and going, wow, is that the real bike? Be, yes it is. Oh. Yes. So it really is a head turner and uh, with the other bikes that were there, we did have a few uh, classic bikes but there, but not of this era. Uh, a lot of sort of modern bikes and she really does stand out no matter where she is she really stands out from the crowd absolutely and absolutely I mean, gorgeous you know, people come to the museum on a Thursday and you know the first thing we head for is uh, is Mike's bike and they have to stroke it and touch it and uh, um, <laughs> obviously you brought it back this morning were you impressed how we get it up and down on the second floor David um, yes I'll never forget working in the restoration shop once uh, I was wheeling a Vincent around and I think the back wheel just clipped a little bit of oil on the, uh, the shiny painted floor and it slipped and I thought I'm not letting that go down, I'll, I'll throw myself under it and did and probably did myself quite a bit of damage wow. and watching her coming up through the lift there I, I, I was ready to catch it. I could see if that. I would have caught that, I, I, would, I was ready, I was ready, <laughs> it was tensed. <laughs> I've done it so many times, um, I mean obviously the museum has been purely built to Mm. to get bikes but I, I can have a bike from the top floor through the floor down into the workshop within 10 minutes it's uh, <laughs> everything is is done that you move things out the mm. way and uh, but you know it's nice to have her back um, oh, she's beautiful. and um, you know where's next David uh, next I think we're up to Scotland for the MCN show okay and uh, then I've got a few small uh, little sort of private motorcycle clubs um, over the next sort of few weeks, then we're lining, lining up for the launch of the new machine. And the day after that, I've got one down at Aberdare Park, which I'm really looking forward yeah. to. Um, are you are you at Aberdare Park at at the races at Aberdare? No, no, we're just going down for um, for, the, for the for the club really for the motorcycle club. Okay, yeah. 
Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. They're a great bunch of people yeah, down there. Absolutely. Really, really nice. Very friendly. Yeah, De Derek, who puts on the Aberdeer races, uh, Derek Smith, mm. he absolutely fantastic. He invites us down every year and, and gives us five star. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, if, if you're available, it's 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 a good event to go to. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. They've they've already made me very very welcome. Yeah. Um, and then I've got another one the day afterwards down uh, at Brooklyn's. Um, so yeah, we're travelling around all over the place. Then we've got a big one up at Melton Mowbray in April on April the fourteenth. Well, if someone wanted to book your uh, your tour, yes. Where do they go? How do they do it, David? Well, aside from the um, the MikeTheBike.com website, which is purely all about Mike, uh, I have my own little website, which is uh, dhmce.co.uk, and there you can find a lot of our new merchandise, and you can also find all the dates of where we're going to be on tour. Um, I do update that once a week, because every week we're getting yes, more and yes, more events. Yes, yes, yes. So um, it's starting to look quite, quite chocker. Uh, we've got three three dates for the TT. Uh, we'll be doing Mad Sunday, then we'll be doing the Tuesday and the Thursday of race week. Uh, but I'll also be over there, hopefully up in the Hellwood Centre, with a little pop-up shop selling all the wares. And then after that, we're off to the ADAC Saxon Ring Classic out at, in Germany at Saxon Ring. Wow. Yeah. So uh, where I'm going to get to ride Dad's old 250MZ. Wow, fantastic. Two fingers on the clutch. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> <coughs> absolutely, yes. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, we really are getting around all over the place. Okay, fine. So, how many events have you got booked for this, for this, uh, this 2015? I think we're on about 11 or 12 at the moment, but um, I think that's sort of only up till beginning of July. Okay, so um, you have got space from July. From July onwards, yeah, yeah I'm still taking bookings. Lovely. Well. Thanks for bringing the bike back, David. Thank and, you very uh, much, Phil. And uh, thanks for the interview as well. And, Anytime. Um, I wish you well with the tour. And I wish you well with the museum. It is absolutely phenomenal what you've got here. Well, it's 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 a privilege to have some of your dad's uh, some of your dad's memorabilia and helmets and trophies and uh, TT trophies and bikes. Um, you know, it's. Uh, Again, I do it for the love of the sport, and you do it for the love of the sport. I can see that. Likewise. Um, and, and unless you're the adrenaline's flowing, in and you know, you're not doing it for money. We're not doing it for money. Just for the love of the sport, it'll mm. continue. Yeah. Thank That's you very it. much, David. Thank you, Phil. Thank you. <laughs>